Hi, Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com and online beginning art school. I am tickled to have you here today. Today we're going to talk about brushes. I know beginning artists, and that's who I teach is beginning artists, they'll get into that and, which I did too. I go into the, when I first started painting, went into the big box art store and I'm like a deer in the headlights. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have no clue what any of that stuff does. So I'm gonna try to take some of the mystery out of that. Today we're gonna talk about bristle brushes, okay? There are, um, these are natural bristle brushes and they go from like a size 12 uh, down to a two. And then there are also some natural sable brushes and they are flat or round, okay? Now, on the brush, the bigger the brush, the bigger the number. So this is a 12, okay? So this is probably a six, and this is probably uh, maybe a four, okay? So um, they are, as the word says, natural bristles. These are um, usual, they're best if they're hog's hair, uh, but they could be um, some kind of goat hair or something like that. But it should say a natural bristle. And you will not be able to find a decent bristle brush in a pack, um, you know, of something a four to six brush. They are the best when they are sold separately or in a group of four in the natural bristle uh, type. Um, something along those lines. And you would need a two, uh, a four, um, a four or a six, and then something like a 10 or a 12. So, you know, three or four natural bristle brushes is really all you need. And I just want you to look at these brushes here, okay? I bought these four brushes 20 years ago. So, if you will take care of them, <laughs> and and I don't mean baby them, because the bristle brushes is the workhorse of your art kit, uh, and so you can scrub into a painting. You can get a lot of things done with a bristle brush that you cannot get done with a synthetic brush, and it's the same way the other way around. There are many things you can't do with a uh, synthetic brush that you can do, or vice versa. <laughs> Um, now, I do have one here, and this says it is a natural bristle flat. However, I don't believe it. <laughs> this is not a good um, bristle brush. Uh, I seldom use it because I never, get, I never get the marks that I want out of it. These brushes here, they still have some good spring in them and everything. And you can see, I've kind of turned it into a bright. A bright is a brush that is uh, kind of curved at the top. Um, these were not curved when I bought them, but because I do so much scrubbing on the side, I've, I've worn them down. Um, but they, that's one of the things that they're really uh, good for. But anyway, I, I just want you to be careful when you go to the art store. And I mean, it feels like it's got some good spring, but it just does not do what I want it to do. So if I were going to um, buy me some decent brushes, I would expect to pay about 20 to $25 for four good natural bristle brushes. Anything much under $20 for the three or four of them, and you're probably not getting a good quality brush. And um, th that's what you need, that's what you want. Uh, I'm, I'm not one to tell you to go out and buy the biggest, most expensive, the most of anything. Um, I'm, I'm a pretty conservative uh, person when it comes to, to money, but I think if you want brushes that are going to last and that are going to do what you want them to do, then you need to spend a little more money on them. So natural bristle brushes, they're good for scrubbing, they're good for making tree bark, they're good for making deep marks, um, lots of things like, I make my clouds with them. Uh, I'm up there on the side scrubbing those clouds in. I, I can even highlight with uh, a, br a bristle brush. Um, but you're not going to get a real smooth mark with them because of the bristles 
the natural bristles that are in there. So I hope that this uh, has helped you and help you know what to uh, buy when you go to the to the art store um, for the next four weeks. We're going to be looking at different types of tools that artists use. We're going to look at synthetic brushes, uh, flats, uh, rounds. <laughs> um, we're going to look at supports, which is really nothing more than a canvas or paper to paint on. Um, and we're going to look at some things like a color wheel, although I have a lot of videos out there about color and color wheel, but we're going to talk about paint. Uh, I paint with acrylic paint and so naturally that's what I am very, very familiar with. So anyway, thank you so much for being in my studio today. And I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, yesterday, there was a big tornado that went through Tennessee. Well, I'm in Kentucky, and so we're getting that wind today, and it is blowing to beat the band. Anyway, my website is www.paintingwithacrylics101.com. I hope you'll check us out there. If this video has been helpful to you, give me a thumbs up button. And click the thumbs up button, I meant to say, and then subscribe to my channel. And uh, we'll talk to you. Hopefully we're gonna paint together real soon. Have a great day.